for meeting on October 4th at 6 o'clock. Uh, with us today, we have uh, the following board members. I'll have you introduce yourselves. Alan Rico, board member. So I'm a board member. Billy Joe Draper, member. And I'm Peter Paterno, um, vice chair. And um, we have some people here in the audience. And might as well introduce yourselves that way. Yeah, Riley Bacchus. And I'm Tracy Shappy. Okay. You gonna <laughs> later? <laughs> Welcome. Um, looks like first thing on the agenda for this evening, we have some additions. So if you guys take a look to see, we've uh, got uh, Riley Bacchus garbage from the neighbor, uh, cow fencing. Then we have First, oh, first, first, don't we have to do the changes to the agenda? Okay, changes to the agenda. You have some? Um, it looks like there is some. Yep. Um, personnel. Um, but we can do that at the at the end of the meeting. Yep. So then we have um, recreation uh, committee. That'll be Amy uh, Brewer with uh, Yvonne Keel. Then we've got Jesse Wood. Then Joey Clark, executive session, uh, acceptance of the minutes. Then we have uh, a discussion on a person to clean um, the facility and then um, a joint meeting and then an executive session. Is there anything else that you folks know of? Is that executive session having to do with the addition? Do we know? Or is that an additional executive yeah. session? The executive session is the same. It's the same. It's the okay. same. I just have so there's not two, there's yeah. just one. Okay. So I'll make a motion <coughs> to add the executive session to the agenda um, for, for personnel. I'll second it. So it's been moved and seconded to add the executive session into our session this evening. Uh, all those in favor signify by saying yes. Aye. Aye. All those opposed, ayes pass. So on this first one, we're gonna to want to go in the executive session nope. on that. We don't? Okay. Nope. All right, so at this time, um, we will um, hear from Riley Bacchus on his situation in the community. Uh, yeah, uh, just looking for an update on uh, what's happening with the trash on the benign property. Um, I came in July, uh, reporting uh, the known situation for, that's been known for over a decade, as discussed in July about the trash at uh, my property and kind of looking to see where, where things are and uh, the problem is still there, uh, obviously. What Didn't you also yeah. talk about the other property? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And that's, that's still pretty much the same. Uh, just things have moved from one pile to another pile. Uh, there was a large uh, pile of scrap metal that got put on a trailer and drove fur further away from the road. Mm -hmm. uh, also, if I may speak just real quick, when um, I don't know if they're still doing it, delivering like lunches to the to the kids in their home. The school was delivering lunches across the street, and um, they just weren't taking them. They were just the raccoons were taking them. Um, and I spoke with her, and it just stayed in the road and in the driveway. Ended up in the yard. It was bad. We had raccoons like you know, a couple weeks. Yeah, it's still on the driveway. Yeah. I believe the update on that is the health officer did go to that yeah. particular place. Yeah, I said there's no bags of trash in the driveway now. Yeah, good. And I noticed that Saturday. So 
So now we're we waiting for a report back from um, the health officer as to how we're going to do this. The health officer determined that there wasn't um, enough of a health concern for it to trigger her her um, contacting the state to get it cleaned up. Um, that was her determination. What about burning garbage? That I'm not sure. That would be uh, Northwest All the Waste has to be called on that because that's a different person. It's uh, Barry Donovan. He works for them and he issues citations if he finds the people group burning. Yeah. Okay. Right. That was coming in the window since we couldn't So have you, have you guys. Um, Heard from the health officer any, or have you heard from the health officer any? No. 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 She told me that she's friends with Larry, so. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he's a nice guy. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, no friends with. I mean, Larry, as in the chairperson, or no, no as a as a property owner. Okay, because yeah. that's. Is he, still, owner. Yes. <laughs> is, is he still a property owner there? I know uh, a while back he had deeded it to his daughter. He, it's um, deeded to trust. It's to trust. So he still owns it. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Um, so the health officer for the uh, other property, not the Benoit property, but the, the rental yeah, property. Is it still his property though? The property is the, the land, the but the, I believe that the trailer is theirs. theirs okay. Correct. Um, so she, so what we received was that she had taken pictures, and yes, there was junk, but it wasn't to the level of health safety, um, right? So there's this is where we kind of have to. There are specific criteria that sets what designates a health safety issue versus an annoying junk issue, right? right? And so, um, and believe you me, I have neighbors that are exactly like the same in the fact, but that criteria is what tips it. And so if it's not to the point of being like unsafe in a health standpoint, then they don't do anything. Right. You know, for the instance, like basically ate all foods. So. Right. So that, see, exactly. That's where we're kind of at. I mean, yeah. and then the trash is everywhere. Right. Right. Over, like, yeah, it comes right. in the yard. It's just gross. Right. Like yeah. health safety yeah. is like right. open sewer pits, right? Or um, uh, uh, complete open electrical. Right, right to the point where it's like somebody is going to get hurt because of this is a health issue versus right. just scrap metal, right? Yeah. Or well, so that's where we. Right. But they've right. been burning it since burning it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. So that's the exact. Right. So, that's the, exactly. <laughs> so it's these like fine lines yeah. that we constantly get caught in. Um, you know. Yeah. Exactly. Now the thing is, is that on this right, I, I mean, you and I have chit chatted about stuff there in the past. Um, had you given us the information on the um, like Title Six Agricultural Chapter One? Mm -hmm. I think so. You've got mm -hmm. so you've got that information, and that's Those where are your emails that you had sent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. yep. So, I mean, the, I was, but back to. The, uh, the first subject, mm -hmm. as far as the Larry Benoit property uh, with the trash for him, have you heard from the state? What's going on? See, that's the thing I would have to go through and uh, get hold of the health officer and see what um, she reports back to us. So um, she's going to be the one to follow up on that. Last last meeting, uh, you guys said that that's, mm -hmm. that's a state thing. Yeah. It is, and we did talk to, um, I think actually Jesse talked to the person at the state that would come and do the inspection mm -hmm. because it's a little above us now because it is on a farm and, and they have already stepped in. It used to be Mr. Cantwell. I don't know if you ever met with him or talked with him. No. Um, so, but now it's somebody else. I mean, the, the, uh, this is the person whose name I sent you for email. Remember when I sent you the email? Oh, uh, yeah. David so, Gersh. So it's him now. And he did contact our office. But before he goes out there, he wanted to contact. He didn't want to show, show up. up. Right. Because sometimes people aren't welcomed. 
Right. And, and he can't put himself in danger. Um, so from there, Larry had stopped to the library and I caught him and I said, hey, do you have a cell phone? And he gladly gave me a cell phone number. So then we gave it to the man at the state level. Okay. From there, we don't know if he's made an appointment to go do an inspection or to meet with him or whatnot. But okay. It's gotten that far. No, exactly. And this would not be the first time that we've gone through this process, right? And so, again, we fell into the, the dicey territory of personal property versus trash, right? Um uh, I believe the the trailers in the woods were an issue. Um, he wouldn't allow them to open them. I'm sure if you were to open them, it might tip it over to a different category, but we, they couldn't get in there. So he um, has to allow people to do that. So what can be done? So if it's visible from the road, can you, can you adopt an ordinance? I, so again, like I could adopt an ordinance that your pink flamingo is trash that's on your lawn, right? Right. So we have to, when we think about ordinances, it can't just be for one person. That's it has to be for right? everybody. Absolutely. And so then it falls into another man's trash is another man's treasure. What I might deem as trash, you might deem as your father's 1936 Oldsmobile, but right? There, so there's not a difference between like the trailers and the outbuildings and then his home that he lives in. Right. And the barn that the animals are in, um, there's not a difference there. Like that's not a health issue for even for his animals, in my mind. So again, that falls into the agency bag, which is a different scenario. Right, so I, we get caught in the state they, thing too. They told me that that falls under the town's jurisdiction. What falls under the town's jurisdiction is- I spoke with the Secretary of Agriculture and they said that falls under Title 24. On the... So as far as us deeming whether his farm is considered operable, that is not a town issue. I would be happy to read that statute because I would argue that that is not our issue. So I think that's the problem we're having is every time we talk to somebody, it's, it's their issue. Yeah. And no, it's, it's, you know what I'm you know saying? I totally it's get that. It's their issue and it's their issue, um, like a whole other issue with the right. cows. And yeah. I'm here because I, I finally have right. had it. Now, what is in a statute, which I have right in front of me, which seems ridiculous, but I'm going to say it because it's a statute mm -hmm. that says you have the right to hold those animals. Right. And But then when you hold those animals, then you have certain things that you can and cannot do with those animals, right? right? So then you do you really want that liability? Probably not. Um, so uh, we've sent fence sitters out to actually check the fence when they go out. Guess what? It's working, right? And so- <laughs> Really? Yeah. <laughs> Really? So remember, you we oh came. Goodness. This is a couple of years ago. Oh. You came about the fence. They sent the fence sitters. They went over. It was working, um, well, and I then the cows remember, got out again. I so. remember some select board members going over. Mm -hmm. They helped to fix the fence. Right. Which is uh, a little bit of a conflict of interest for the town. I don't remember the fixing of the fence. You may have remembered that, but I remember then the fence sitters going over and checking the fence. And so at that point it was working and then now what do you do? Yeah. Um, now so this is a vicious right cycle. Yeah. There is also statute that basically states that it is an issue between the landowners that have conflict. The, the problem with that specific area is my land doesn't abut layers. Oh. Mine's across the road. Right. And it doesn't touch. Right. Whose does yours abut? Shepherds. All the way around in the road. But mm -hmm. there is also statute, which I'm looking at, which is about the right of way of the road. And so that's a Vermont state statute that says if the animals are in the roadway, then you, the landowner, or if it causes any damage to your property, you, the landowner, can recoup damages from the other said landowner, but the town yeah. isn't in part of that. Yeah, you yeah. have enough money to hire a lawyer, though. Well, I mean, That's there's right. a lot. To I, I get that too. There are lots of of legal aids that may take that up for sure. Yeah, yeah, I get that. And that doesn't solve the problem, right? 
the problem will still persist. Yeah. Just like the problem was probably there before you got there. <laughs> so yeah, it, it's gonna, um, that that is well, a... The village of Venusburg has a statue for... Uh, an ordinance. No, a statue. The, 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 the don't make... 24 multi, uh, municipal charters, chapter 219. And it goes through and it states uh, how, uh, well, what I'm referring to mm -hmm. is uh, uh, keep and repair any buildings necessary, uh, any construction, maintenance, and that's more to do with like town land or something, but what what I'm getting to is I'd like the town to adopt a, a similar uh, ordinance, charter, uh, whatever you want to call it, for the town, because this goes into detail to uh, say nuisance animals, uh, restricting cattle, horses, sheep. Uh, running at large, uh, just for for the for the towns, and, and that's just for the towns property and stuff. Um, I should call the eating guy. And I don't want to go in down out there. Oh, it's not okay. I'll have to message. If, we'll make sure you uh, call him back in the morning. Okay. If those if this statute is violated, um, you it could be imposed as a fine, not to exceed five hundred dollars. Um, but if the town, if the village of Venusburg can have a, a statute for something like this, and some of that uh, is exactly what I'm dealing with, uh, why can't the town adopt the ordinance? I'm confused by statute. I, don't, I think it's part of their charter. I think it's in the charter. statute saying Enosburg Village is one of the people that have this, gotcha. but it's in their charter. And again, it's just like the ordinances. You can't focus one charter change on one instance or it's harassing. Like it's one person that would, this ordinance would be focused on. Or you're just saying but, everybody's buildings should be up to this, like a code is I what mean, you're saying. Yeah. I'm not saying it's for this instance, and, but... Obviously, this is a reoccurring problem. That's why I keep coming. Mm -hmm. And I mean, if it wasn't a problem, I wouldn't be here. I mean, mm -hmm. the cows were out again. They're out right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I sent Billy Joe a video, and they just walk right through the fence. The fence isn't on. Right. I mean, they're cows. They're hungry. Right. Yep. No. I, get, I get it. I understand. But they got in the garden. Mm -hmm. That really made me mad. <laughs> So, I mean, I don't know if you guys started, but that's a yeah. lot of work. No, exactly. It's a lot of work. And there was like multiple cows, bulls even. And we have kids. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just scary. It's just like, they can fix the fence. That's it. I, I, don't, even, right. I don't even care about the buildings. Let them fall right. in. Just. So you're right. Make and fix the fence, which we've kind of done. But then what? Then yeah, the next month rolls around. Yeah. I mean, it was good for a long. Yeah, it was good for right. a while. And so the point is, is that problem. I'm saying is at some point it has to be between the landowners, right? At some point it has to be between the landowners. Well, right? I mean, we have fence viewers for a reason. If it's a continual issue, right. then fence viewers need to go out and tell them, hey, look, in order to have these animals, you need to fix your fence. Right. If we get, but yeah. I mean. I get cows get out once in a while. Right. I mean, no, I get it. I I've lived in Franklin County yeah. my entire life. Yeah. I worked on a few different farms. Right. And I get cows get out, but they've been out pretty much every day. It might be a couple of days in between, maybe mm -hmm. three or four that the cows haven't been out, but they've been out since the twentieth of August. Right. Right. Okay, so what we'll do is uh, we could take a look at the village charter ruling, see what's what's in there, and um, get hold of the health officer and uh, see if the state has followed up with her. And and it sounds like fence viewers again. <laughs> he puts up these these like. 
ramshack all things tied together and the cows are just like really well, mm -hmm. yeah, i know exactly. it's, it's, right oh yeah it's right um, there. or or he sticks sticks a fence post up and puts slides two rods together <laughs> he post. really does mm -hmm. i know it's not funny yeah. no it's unfortunately it's unfortunate but okay. i mean what well, i mean after the fence viewers view it and it's a continual issue after that i mean What's the next step through the town? Is it fining him until he fixes the fence, or what can you do? We don't have an ordinance for that. That's the thing. It's like maybe there should be one for. But there is like statute this. for you. That's what I'm saying. It's already in the law, and so there are things in place yeah. for you. So it's up to you to go to court. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's what. But, but the point is, right. the court will say, okay. If if they even say here's some money, like the the issue is still going to happen, and uh, I'm not really in in a financial situation to hire a lawyer, you know. Um, yeah. No, I totally get it. And. I had a conversation with the Secretary of State and she said, you know, you shouldn't have to be burdened with this. It, it, this shouldn't be a problem. You should have to keep this. And I, I said, I know, but if uh, if I catch him on my land, he won't have to worry about that one anymore or whatever's on it. I'm serious. I'm to that point. I can't, I can't hire a lawyer. I get passed around right. and I can't do anything about it. I still think you, that I, I think you'd be surprised at the amount of legal aid that's out there for people. I think you would be surprised. Did you, when you called the, the Secretary of State's office, did you ask for any of those resources? Yeah, I called. Okay. So why don't I, I, I will happily kind of dig into that and see what's available because, um, and, and we can and see, maybe that might help too. Yeah, they told they they were gonna look into what they could do out there, and, and right. I was, I'm supposed to call them Tuesday or Wednesday. So. Okay, good. But um, I mean, they they told me uh, it should be up to you guys to adopt an ordinance with the, with the statute for Title Twenty Four Wild Nine, which is the the fence viewers, and it it has. It, there's a law underneath. Yeah, no, exactly. It's not just fence viewers. Right. So part of it is that the town, if they have the facilities available, can take control of the animals. We've been down, we've communicated that with you too. We don't have that facility. Right. So that's one police, of the things. The sheriff's office don't deal with cows. Exactly. Like, so we, there's the these cows. things that are in place in the statute that we but, don't have. Right. If I see it, I will definitely deal with it. And so, be the last time. right. Just like, for instance, there's things in the statute well, that says you're going to take control of the animal, but you don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, where, where am I supposed to keep them? That's exactly what I'm saying. Exactly. Like, that's that, exactly. That's what I'm another saying. cost for me. Totally. And I, I don't have money for a lawyer. You expect me to get the building permit, build the building, like lumber's freaking. Oh, through. totally get it. No, I don't expect you to build it, but I'm what I'm saying is. There's things in the statute that are saying, like, we just don't have the system to do that. But we, so that's what we have that's to figure out. That's why I'm asking out. you to adopt an ordinance. We can look into it. Okay. That's all I can do for right now. Or it's all we can do for right now. Mm -hmm. the, Ordinances and charters take a, like I said in my email, they take a very long time right. to create. You have to write the verbiage. You have to have an attorney check it over. You have to take it to multiple meetings. You have to post it. You have to vote on it. It's not something I could even snap my fingers and even get done in six months. Right. And when you think about the individual, like, let's say there is an ordinance, right? So there has to be um, oversight of the ordinance, which means we what go and fine him. He doesn't pay. Um, we can't, we're not taking his animals. We've already determined that we're not in the business of farming, right? So, you can order them 
get rid of them. But with an ordinance in, in place, say so there's can, dog ordinances too. <laughs> no. a, but aren't cows a little different than dogs? So I mean, they're like and horrible. It, I mean, but if you look at the statute, it's pretty similar. Like dog catcher, so they basically say you can go and take their animals if they're out. Oh my god, I'd get shot. <laughs> I, I, mean, I mean, the toughest part on part of this, and that is it's all based on agriculture, which is right. in a sense exactly. out of our hands. Well, it's out of the agency of agriculture's hands, too. That, that's what, all I, all what, I, can do is that's what I don't get either. All I can do is uh, do a site visit about water. I call them. Mm -hmm. It, yeah, something smells fishy you know. there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to dig in for legal and uh, and then we'll check out the statute, I guess. Mm -hmm. And see what the health officer I mean, has to say. I wish I could snap my fingers. I really do. Frustrating. Speaking of the health officer, real quick, mm -hmm. there's a pipe that comes out from across the across the road. I mean, I don't know what they had done when they moved in there. Did something happen with the septic that was a little fishy? But okay, you could smell sewer when you walk by sometimes, and there's like a rag hanging out of it. Okay. I don't know. Why you would not see that? Is it going into we a ditch can... or is it <laughs> a ditch? I brought. I brought that. It's up directly in. The, it's directly pulled out from the ditch and that's a new thing right since they moved in i've only lived they, there three years that when they moved in that was part of their uh one of their things they did improvements i guess but i i'm pretty sure they they had a rented a backhoe from rosie uh Rob Rob Kelly. Mm -hmm. and um uh, uh what's his name dan Daniel, uh, he he ran it, and they they dug a couple trenches behind the trailer, like the, the length of their backyard, and they dug a trench across the driveway into the ditch, and I mentioned that to Henry Newberger, and they had buried it up by the time that he uh, went over, and they told him that it was just for drainage, but. But in order for the health officer to uh, to uh, anything for the septic, it needs to be inspected. And I know that he didn't inspect it because they buried it up by the time that I had talked to him. Um, so is it? Is it an open pipe or is it not? It's an open. Yeah. It's an open pipe. It's an okay. Open pipe. Um, and it's not like. The sewer you smell from animals, yeah. or it's no, right. feces. Okay. It's gross. And, and that is at a while ago when we were taking a walk down the road, but and that is uh, at the rental. You're saying, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think of that. Until now. And if you're facing the house, it's on the right side of the driveway. Yep. I think it's green. Right. It's like a. I mean. I'm pretty sure it's white. It's a white. Okay. Okay. It's green. <laughs> yeah. Anything okay. else? Um, and the fence viewers are gonna view the fence. Well, I, th I think he, we have to talk to the fence viewers because some of them aren't here. <laughs> 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 Are you what do you guys look for when you uh, view the fence? It, um, if you can easily pull the fence down. <laughs> no. no, I can't. I, I'm, not even, allowed, I'm not even allowed line. to touch well, it. It's more of, that's what it's, it originally was. It was about property lines. It's property lines. That's what it's that's supposed to be. That's what that's the position. It's, exactly. Yes. I'm going to have to check to see if they have a purview on um, fence stability. Fence stability, right. That's I'm not sure if that's out. even under their job description. But it was we property will see. lines. Okay. Yes. The fence viewer or fence well, fence stability. I, I didn't know if there was anything else that went along with it. But yeah. There is a statute. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Thank you for coming. Yes. You good? Why or, are you here? Just fun. Her request. Oh.
Thank you. I think we're all set now. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely. Y'all enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you. 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 Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm good. It's been a long time since I've been here. Yes. How are things? They're good. Good. They're good. Good. Are, are we, you calling him back for me? Are we? <laughs> He's Yvonne's joining my phone. Oh, Yvonne's joining. Okay. All right, young lady. Introduce yourself. I will. Yes. My name is Amy Brewer, and I'm here representing the um, Pittsburgh Rep. Hello. Hi, Yvonne. It's Billy Joe. Hi, Billy Joe. You're now joining the slug board meeting. Hi, Yvonne. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi, Yvonne. Hi, Yvonne. It's Amy. Hey. <laughs> So um, the reason I'm here is because we have beautiful rec fields um, and we had a master plan that we um, submitted uh, a year and a half ago or so, it's, I think January 2012. Um, and then we've all been kind of head spinning with COVID, um, but now it's time to start thinking about next steps and how to move that forward. Um, that's not my area of expertise, so I'm coming to you. Um, I'm going to this off while I'm talking mm -hmm. so you can hear me. Um, so if you wouldn't mind, I'm just going to kind of remind you all where we are with the project. Um, so um, the goal of the REC uh, Fields Redevelopment is to kind of meet the existing and growing needs of the greater Amosburg community. Um, to provide rest and gathering space for community members of all ages and abilities, um, to fill in recreational gaps, um, like you know, a playground, walking path, places for gathering, gardening, winter activities, um, to increase the delineation between the emergency services space mm -hmm. and recreation space, which is not clearly delineated, um, and to just increase the enjoyment and flexibility of this community access. It's asset. It's a big space, We're currently underutilized. It's a couple ball fields, a basketball court, um, which is doubling this pickleball. So here's the update. Um, we submitted the master plan in 2020 of January. We built a cute little Gaga pit, um, mm -hmm. which I encourage you all to explore with uh, the young people or even your peers. Um, and we striped the pickleball court onto the basketball. And all that is being utilized, so it's been kind of fun. Um, and just trying to figure out what our next steps when we ask the question, because I'm a novice, the answer is engineering and scoping, um, which um, probably can't happen without support or encouragement from, from the board in the town. Um, and um, I've had a couple conversations with um, some engineers and there would be things like stormwater permits, would, which would be needed, wetland delineation. Um, if we move forward on the second ball field, which would be in the back um, of this building, um, we'd need Act 250. Um, and then there's an imaginary um, part up at the corner, which would be on village property. Um, and so that would be need to be discussed as well. So that was the master plan as it was um, created. Mm -hmm. We don't have to do it that way. Right. We can do it in a variety of different ways. Um, the way it was uh, shared with us, there's phases that we could do, um, but we're hesitant to, you know, planting trees or putting in a, a community garden, which could be moved, or all kind of things that we don't want to do if that's where the drainage is supposed to go. Um, and so we're kind of spinning not sure where it goes. And this is where I stop. <laughs> <laughs> right. See how you all are feeling about that or, or what questions come to mind. So, so if I could, um, the part that she talked about being village property um, was mentioned to the SE group. And unfortunately, they didn't really take that into like because they don't understand town village. Right. So, kind of odd. Yeah. Um, and I don't think we want to spend the money to get a survey no um i think we just have to 
exclude that? Well, so that's what I'm wondering if like, yeah, like if we could, and I'm totally just, just talking out, yeah. <laughs> um, thinking out loud. So I like the phases idea, mm -hmm. but like I was, but like you were saying, there has to be some kind of big picture in order to figure out what's going to impact what. Right. Um, do you have a, I mean, you got to have some sort of plan. You got to have, have something plan. in place to get these storm drains in place. And, and I, then I would always put planting of trees as the plants. last phase. Right. You don't want to have to move a tree. Yeah. No. It's just going to die. Right. It's just going to die. Yeah. Um, I will, um, like this. So where is the village? Property. It's a that, small corner, right? Isn't it in Red Village Joe up on that corner? Well, that little piece of pizza, like? It's 1.8 acres. It's that actually one. almost two acres. Oh, so yeah. I, 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 didn't <laughs> I didn't lie. I didn't lie. I don't oh. know if that's it. <laughs> oh, maybe it's another <laughs> conservative. Oh, yeah. Is it a little piece is of pizza? Is it the pizza? Kind of. It's, it starts at Water Tower and it's kind of flat oh. in the front. Then. Oh, that whole piece? Wait, yeah, it goes up through the pond, it looks like, right? Yeah, through the wetland. It starts here. Oh. And it goes like it's this. Like, see this line right here? It's this. Oh. Okay, here, this is one. Well, that squared acres. off one. It's phase D. So, I, I'm again just saying it could be like the community could. I, there could be torches at my house when I get home. <laughs> but I. My feeling is, I like this part just speaks to such trouble to me. What's in it? Since you so it's it, the new ball field, okay, all that wetland, yep. and the village property. Like that piece, like that part seems like that's going to be, be a obstacle yeah. in creating the rest. That's just my sense. I could I be totally okay. wrong. Yeah. I think it's okay to flex and to shift. Right. I don't think if, if we can say that this isn't this part is kind of off extra the table, field, which is like a luxury. Yeah. It, it's not feasible right yeah. now. Yeah. I think we're okay. It, it's designed in phases because you know that there might be things that are more feasible right. than than not, and we're okay with that. Right. Um, that's okay. And when I'm thinking stormwater and I'm thinking permitting, I'm thinking like this is going to have way more like it's impact on the low, yeah, so the bottom. So that that ball field isn't doesn't look like it. The, the, it's That's the all. ball field is safe. It's what is near. You know, no, the new look right. at this. It's the new, the yeah, new ball field. field. So I have it marked as village. No, so I know. Is yeah, property. I get that, but this is yours. It's. I get that this is the part that it's going to have to be blasted. It's ledge. It's total oh, it's ledge. ledge. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm thinking like this. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Sounds kind of like a problem. The answer. <laughs> that's entirely true. But this, yeah, would, it, it's actually to get another ball field so we can get away from the dairy center. It would be totally worth the expense of a blast. You think so? Absolutely. And what? Yeah, it's not as expensive as, as expensive as you would think. Really. It's expensive, it's, but it's not astronomical. Just leave some dynamite out on <laughs> Okay. And there's people of Acres. Because that just seems so curious. This is right. good we're talking this out because that felt like between this and that, and that just seemed overwhelming to me. I think the I think the more we can have here and the center. No, absolutely, Amy, right? yes. The, the better. So in the long run, instead of it's $2,050 every year to rent plus 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 four to less. Right. Okay. So then what about taking that village property out of the plan? I think it has to be because we because it's not ours. You don't right. think they'll give it to us? No. I think it's worth a conversation to say, hey, what are you right. what are your plans for us? Do you do you have something on there? Maybe there's something, some utility type of thing that we don't know anything. Right. We can certainly have that conversation. Yeah, we have a joint Yeah, meeting. I would ask them. I mean, because maybe you know, if start nothing, there because if they're willing to just maybe um, donate it or if it's know. nothing anyways, you know, I mean, if yeah. it's nothing they're but doing. But it might anything. be also the the way to get to, to one of their, um, one of those things, the, the buildings that they keep. I think there is one oh, back it? here someplace. Oh. 
if you see Gary Denton, I guess it's worth a yeah. conversation. So we're totally open to doing certain elements, leaving some others. There are some things in the plan that I think add a lot of um, opportunity for the community, a playground. Sure. Um, more accessible, like, you know, if, if I'm not stable on my feet, walking down to watch my kiddo play, mm -hmm. it's not simple yeah. um, or safe for everybody with everybody. Moving the parking away, separating the space between this facility mm -hmm. and that, those are really important priorities mm -hmm. for making it safe for everybody and, and to um, offering more opportunity. And I think most of that happens within um, the property that is currently here and we're flexible mm -hmm. but not sure how to move it forward so i can certainly talk to the trustees um well we have a joint meeting next month with them okay. so i think that's a be a time for the select board is a month okay. to a question yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah and so again let's talk this out my thinking is then if if that is part of the plan i think stormwater and drainage would be the next logical step because if you're if you you know if it's all going to dump into here i don't know and is that in yeah. a function of an engineer yeah i think you'd want to <laughs> definitely be where you'd start <laughs> you're redoing everything you're redoing everything and you're adding you you're adding to the system too you're adding to, and I don't know how how much of an impact that would be, but you're actually adding to the like stormwater system. Study. It would be an engineer. Yeah. Okay. So then, how would we, knowing that we're flexible, um, but wanting to move forward, how does the town apply for an engineer? So you would want a grant for that potentially. So northwest planning commission. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, Greta mm -hmm. would be probably your point person because she's all about that. Okay. That, that aspect. Um, and I think if they're doing that much, they might want to consider um, bathrooms. Oh, definitely. Like a bath, bathroom. So they're in the plan. It's in the bathrooms. Are in yeah. The plan. Those. Yeah. Bathrooms are nice. Yes. The changing rooms are. It would be great to have yeah. bathrooms and changing rooms. <coughs> are not exactly. Um, yeah, I feel like that because then you're they're gonna you're gonna find out what's usable and what's not usable. Okay. Who put all this together? Was it SE Group? SE Group. We had a, a grant Vital Village people. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we had a, um, a a planning grant that yeah. NRPC helped us write, um, and there was some investment from the town. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we might have used Rise Vermont money to do that, mm -hmm. to help uh, pay for the match for that. Mm -hmm. they, they didn't have any engineering or anything when they were doing this? Just They had, they had general <clears throat> guidance, yeah. um, and I did reach out to them and ask them, you know, what, do we need these permits? What, what's going on? And they gave me an answer, uh, which I think... Did I include, did I include you in it? Anyway, they, they gave an answer. I was like, maybe if we do this and definitely if we do this and um, and we'd be happy to bid on a, you know, so I think they could help us go further. Mm -hmm. um, there's other people, obviously, who put it out to bid and whoever, but it's, it's something that they um, could do as well. Um, and so the phase, the wetlands, Keep in mind, this is a dream plan. Right. <laughs> because after doing the research from our last meeting about the class two wetlands, like, you're not going to be putting much in there. <laughs> so that's why I was looking, but it looks like it's like on the periphery. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was more of a boardwalk kind of exploration. Yeah. Um, which right. provided some opportunity. And actually, Tom uh -huh. Hand, who helped us from SE Group, did say that you know the state might give you some pushback, although it provides some benefit as far as knowledge and education and exploration without much harm. So he thought, yeah, um, exactly that. That it yeah. might be challenging, but maybe worth it. Right. Yeah. And sometimes there, if you work with them and yeah. maybe you give a little and whatever to promote to what you recommend, 
certain areas, they might work with you too. Mm -hmm. Like I think about the, the, the walkover in the Carmine Swamp. Okay. Hey, Jesse. Are you still there, Yvonne? <laughs> Yeah, I'm here. Okay. I'm here. <laughs> I'm just listening. <laughs> yeah, I think that might be the next step. So, conversation with the trustees next month. Yep. Um, About that piece of property. Yeah, or their interest. You know, this is a this is a greater community resource as well. So the, the benefit is not just Innisburg right. and H, but Innisburg Falls and the surrounding communities come right. here to use the field as well. And if anything, on something like that, you may just want to uh, give them a heads up or be on their agenda in the yeah. next meeting or two so yeah. that if this topic happens to come up with us jointly, it's not a surprise. That they say, well, we don't know nothing about it. If, unfortunately, yeah. It's... I understand. What do you, what do you, like Amy and Yvonne, what do you guys think would be the biggest, best bang for the buck to get started going? You know, we've talked, um, we've talked about movable um, elements right now. So the goggle pit, we can take it down and put it somewhere else. That's why we started with that. Um, you know, we've talked a little bit about um, not necessarily community gardening, um, but edible landscaping or food and landscaping at the same time. Um, something that makes the space more inviting, something that maybe we do in containers, something that we've talked to, we're going to have a conversation with the students at Cold Hollow about something, the way that they can be involved in that mm -hmm. and plan for it to be movable. Um, so again, trying to draw more interest in the space. Um, well, understanding that we may, it, it's going to get redesigned, although many of the elements aren't getting redesigned. They're getting, um, you know, so if you look at the sovereign fields, one of the things people really talked about wanting is those trees that, that were between the road and the soccer fields. I mean, yeah. it made everybody feel safer and a more mm -hmm. welcoming space. Um, and I'm not sure how that would impact drainage or what I have no, right. I don't know this. Yeah. Um, so the walking path that's there could be refreshed. I mean, right. that's, um, you know, we put that in 10 oh, years ago. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, th there might be things that we can do to refresh the space without building much um, while we're doing engineering, but we don't want to lose interest in the space. And we certainly want right. people to um, look to it as something that's coming and that's really coming, not stuck on the shelf. That I feel like that's low hanging fruit is that walking path, just refreshing it and kind of mm -hmm. getting people jazzed about work. Mm -hmm. You know, you could even do like um, the spruce stuff. With, yeah, spruce make stuff. it usable. And, and I yeah. think if you do um, a few playground items, because yeah. if you look at Facebook, there there's people that travel to different schools, and for a while the schools didn't allow anybody yeah. onto the stuff because of COVID. Mm -hmm. Even so, I that. think that's a really sought after thing. Playground equipment. Yeah, for sure. That'll bring them in for sure. But where would we put it? Um, if I could add something, um, I don't know if this has been mentioned yet, but when you look at the breakdown of each space or, you know, the different projects, um, and I think we, we covered this the time maybe we had a meeting about the park, um, we realized that there are things that, you know, volunteers could do you know there are things that people here in our community can either donate or do um to to help us uh refresh the park like you mentioned like the walking path came to mind that's that's something that that i i feel that we might be able to get some volunteers to help with that and not necessarily invest you know a whole lot of money in that mm-hmm and every time we bring the students involved or volunteers involved, people feel better about the space. So there's that kind of um, abstract. Um, and you're educating them too mm -hmm. on, on, yeah. on what's going on. Too. Yeah, it's such a great space. We want people to want to be here and to feel invested in their community, especially young people. Mm -hmm. um, it has benefits. For sure. Yeah. Okay. 
Trooper, anything else? Do you need more direction than that from us to start looking for grants and everything? I hear that's on my list to okay. connect with the trustees prior to a meeting with you all next month um, and to make sure that they're engaged and aware and mm -hmm. excited as well mm -hmm. um, to talk with Greta and our PC to talk about potential grants for an engineering scoping study um, and then to look at some of the low hanging fruit such as that edible garden um, or planters, um, look at perhaps playground equipment um, which would probably be grant funded as well. I think we've raised some funds, but probably not very much. Um, and um, to continue to capitalize on volunteer improvement, I mean, involvement. Does, that... Does Eastburg do a class gift? Mm -hmm. We school? used to. Yeah. Yeah. They, they used to. Used to. Yeah. Back in yeah, the day. Like, so for instance, all the playground equipment up at the Collins Pearly, um, I think the class gift, mm -hmm. they donated like $6,000. Did they have nice? I know. Yeah, mm -hmm. Rise did too. Yeah, um, but, but isn't um, isn't the elementary school doing something to raise money for their playground as well? It could be. Like I'm thinking, like your graduating class gives a class gift, and whatever you do, you get to put your plaque on, like um, oh, class of yeah. da 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 da. da. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and so that might be um, something neat that they leave behind is some playground equipment. I just was thinking of different things, but, um, and I wouldn't be surprised if there's some like funky COVID grant out there about creating outdoor spaces. Actually there is. Yeah. I just saw it come yeah. Friday and it's something to do with rec and community. I'll send it to you. Tomorrow. Yeah. So that's why I'm wondering <clears throat> if. I think regional probably really? would have that. They know everything. They know everything. Exactly. <laughs> That's my go-to. <laughs> That's my go-to. It, yeah. it might be a good time to jump on yeah. a lot of this because there seems to be money. Right. Probably faster. Outdoor spaces too. and community health. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm not sure how that fits with, I know ARPA funding and whatever yeah. else it's called is coming. I don't know how it fits. I know that I talked with Sean um, and that's being defined still. Um, it's pretty loose. So I, I would certainly encourage you all to keep that in mind as a potential because it does create more outdoor gathering spaces for people, educational opportunities, recreation, healthy behaviors. Those are all important in keeping us healthy right. as a community, in my opinion. Right. Now the ARPA funds were delineated between the village and the town. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to go to the village yeah. and I'm going to talk with the village. Yeah. Okay. Great. Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good Feel luck. free to reach out to Yvonne. I'm okay. certainly yeah. supporting her. It was just easier for me to be here in person mm -hmm. than it was for her. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Great. Super. Can Thank I you. just uh, mention one more thing? Um, I just wanted to quickly just, um, I know it was it was covered, but um, I wanted to just highlight that we are looking into doing the um, community, maybe like some sort of, but like Amy mentioned, um, edible garden or like a, maybe a, some garden beds or something like that. Um, so we are looking into that and, and hoping that we could do something, um, maybe start uh, either planting or doing some something this fall. I know it seems rather quick, but we're, we're looking into it. And um, with the idea that we could find a group to help manage it and help maintain it because I know that's kind of a thing as well like uh, keeping up with everything that's in the rec fields right now um, and helping maintain it so so that's what we're working on um, right now and, and once we know more we'll of course fill you guys in to make sure you're okay with that too but um, yeah we, we have a meeting about that on, on Wednesday right Amy yeah. with with a few groups yeah but the thing is keeping in mind that uh over on uh, Orchard Street, we've got a community garden too. Yeah, it wouldn't be the same kind of community garden. Okay. Um, it, it, so we've talked about flowers or um, um, edible landscape, so shrubbery like bush, uh, blueberries or things that people can kind of walk by, help themselves. Um, just, yes, okay. not to compete okay. with. Not personal space, but actually community space. Yeah, Yeah. Um, it's the concept that we're going with yeah. right now. 
Um, again, just to draw more people, a variety of different people to the space. So if you know of any people who love gardening, who want to get their hands dirty with a project like this, send them to the vine. Okay. I wonder about the vocational center. Do they still no. have the... the horticulture? I don't think they do. And they don't have now. Mm -mm. Greenhouse and all that stuff? Yeah. I don't know. So we're connecting with Sarah Stebbins at Cold Color. Oh, you are? Yes. Okay. Good. Yeah, on Wednesday. Good. Be a good community. Yeah. Or out time for mm -hmm. some students. If yes. Needed to, if yes. Needed mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a great trade about us. Yes. Thank you all. Super. Thank, thank you. you. Nice to see you. Too. Good job. Are you all set up thank on? You guys. Thanks, Yvonne. Thanks, Yvonne. Yeah, thank you so much. Have a good evening. Have a good night. Good all right. Bye. Bye. Bye, Amy. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Drive safe. <laughs> yep. 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 Come on in, introduce yourself, and let us know what position you got. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What can you bring to the table? Yeah. It better be cupcakes. Yeah. I was going to say, right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I, I should. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to upstage Willie Joe. No, no. Yeah, you yeah. bring cupcakes. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry for my boys too, by the way. I went to the Pats game last night. The Patriots oh, you were game last yelling. Night, and I was yelling and screaming. And we froze to death. In we the had rain. To, we, had to, we had to holler in order to keep warm last night. So. <laughs> At least it was a good game. Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 19 to 17. 19 to 17. Who won? Uh, Tampa Bay did. It went down to the wire to a kick. Yeah. And oh. it just went, and it hit the pole. <laughs> Oh. It just went the wrong way, <laughs> but it was, it was it was good to see. It was good to see Brady back there. It was good. It was funny because he came out originally. Everybody cheered for him, and then when he came out to actually go on the field to play, they booed him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like cool. you to a point. Yeah, yeah. Well, we were talking. We're like, so what is there? What's everyone going to do here? How's this going to go? And it was like it, they they did it both ways. It we like respect you, just not that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're fine off the field when you're throwing the darn ball now. Yeah. Okay, so this is Jesse Woods. He's our zoning administrator, and uh, what do you got planned? So uh, we're talking about um, bylaw updates. Mm -hmm. Last time we had all talked, uh, we had kind of gone over the fee schedule and everything. Mm -hmm. We knew the village was going to be up here in 2022. Um, of course, like you guys were just talking recently, you know, there's money out there. Mm -hmm. The MPG is up right now. That's out and available. There was also another grant, the bylaw modernization grant. Yeah. Working with Greta at Northwest, um, we didn't know what the language when that came out, the, the modernization side, what that was going to mean, if yeah. we could go down that road or we could go down the MPG. In talking with the planning commission and talking with Greta, um, she's like, well, you know, obviously we, we update the village, but we could at the same time update the towns. And then we kind of threw out what if we do you know put that all into one book obviously you know one set of bylaws we still have a separate village section with you know the yeah. downtown business district all that stuff but basically put everything in one cover so yeah. we can do so we met uh, a couple weeks ago we met the uh, planning commission greta came the language came out for the scope of work of what we're looking at so basically it's to consolidate those two um you know those two books continue what I had started with the forms, the fees, look at those fees, mm -hmm. update those fees, consolidate those fees, you know, basically make everything streamlined into one thing. The MPG is really what that needs to go. Like right. the, the bylaw and modernization thing is more of your bylaws, you want to update them, you want to freshen them up, you want to change some things. Because what it does, it kind of makes it a little easier to build housing mm -hmm. in certain areas, which we can still update our bylaws based on that, but it's this, it, it's kind of, it's kind of wild, you know, we're talking about the scope, this scope of work, which it is a large project, but she's like, it's probably 20,000 by the time you, you know, do all this from the ground up. Mm -hmm. So there's a $2,200 match with that. It's 1100 for the village and for the town, basically not, it, it, I think it would still come under the general fund because mm -hmm. I think it would pull from, you know, obviously, you know, half and half. Um, but there is that match. Um, it's, yeah, because all of that is under the town. Right. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. 
So there was a little bit of confusion with some of the um, with some of the, uh, the planning commission how that goes, and we kind of you know we because they weren't sure well the village is this, and I said no. Pull it from the general fund that pulls it, it's even. It's right. you know so. And we took control all over. Right. All right. 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 So one of the little funky parts in this whole thing is being that we have a combined population of over 2,500 residents, yeah. we have to have a three bid procurement on this yeah. job is what we have to have. Okay. So it kind of made it for a funky situation. Um, I was supposed to meet with you guys last time. We really didn't even still have all the details. Yeah. So Northwest and Greta, they will apply for the grant for us. Okay. Um, but it kind of put them in a funky spot. Like we can't really apply for the grant and then bid on the yeah. project. And then she was honest. She was like, I don't know if we really want to bid on this because this is a pretty large scale project. She goes, we're not really sure if we want to really tackle that thing. So she has since come back and said, she has confirmed we will do the application. Um, we will not, you know, we will not bid. We will not. You'll have to put it out to, you know, a three bid. Who else would do it? We're not. I'm waiting to hear back from her. I asked. Basically, somebody had asked the question, um, you know, have you ever had a situation like this where, you know, a plan has gone, you know, basically unpicked up? And she said, no. Usually you put it out. Um, she said she could help steer in the direction. I was going to go to... League of Cities and Towns to see maybe what they have and talk about who, you know, other planners are out there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, who would do it? Who else would do it? And she she said she was very confident that someone else would pick that when, up. When she says someone else, does she mean other planning? Other planning Regional planning Other Other planning Oh, no, I no, was no. like, what is it? Right, like, right, right. A company that does <laughs> right. this? Well, like, there, who else would right, do that? And she, yeah. the way she made it sound, too, and, and I'm waiting to hear back because I have some other questions with her, too. Um, She's supposed to tell me. This sounds like there's some also consultants out there that will do it. Well. Oh, okay. You can do it. So, I was kind of like it might be kind of a nice, um, you know, Northwest has always been great with everything, yeah. um, you know, but just you know, new, you know, new eyes on things. And you know what? Sorry. No. Oh, you know what would cut? It's, it's not going to be popular, but you know what would cut down on a lot of that is, and we did this. Remember, we literally went as the planning commission like we actually read it well all of it and and that was discussed and yeah. that was discussed literally where everyone would take sections that's what we did and go through so i've been keeping i mean this is one of my folders every time i go and read the bylaws or an issue comes up mm -hmm. or something i take a sticky note and i write this and then i'm like well what is this and i have constant notes so whenever i'm reading it i've been keeping a running tally ever since i've started this of like this should be changed or this yeah. needs to be clarified or this right. or why is this like this in the village but it's in the right. town it's different but it really should be the same when, and it's no fault to anyone but it's literally those two documents are 250 pages long right and a lot of it is again and it's no fault it's just you're copying and pasting from a lot of different ones because it's like right. this one fits here and yeah, this I one actually fits found here. a section that says North Hero in our yeah South Hero yeah South Hero <laughs> South exactly yeah yeah because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> If you think about what you're paying for, I mean, how many meetings that they come and say, what do you want to work on? And then they go through it. But it's really the planning commission like, OK, this section, do we want to keep it? Do we want right. to change it? How about this section? Do we want to keep it? Do we want to change it? And if you do so much of that leg work, I wonder if. Right. And that's in the in the in the, the planning commission, literally, they had all kind of agreed like. Like you just said, we literally piece it apart. And, yeah. you know, there's some things, um, I can't remember if it's the village or the town one, where it says, you know, boundary line, uh, you know, adjustment, yeah. refer to this table. And you go to that table and there's nothing That's there same. for boundary line adjustment. Yeah. It just listed out as minor and major subdivision. Right. And again, and I, I'm not blaming anybody, I'm no, not no. anything, but it's just one of those things where, you're doing it, you know, Northwest is doing it for here and they're doing it for fair, they're doing yeah, it for this so one and this exactly. one and this one, and it makes it really different when we did it. And what we did is we just took yeah. every, we said we're going to do this section at this meeting. And I think we did divvy up. Like you read mm -hmm. three pages, I'll read these three pages, you read those four pages, and right, we come together. Right. Um, and it took us maybe, not, I felt like it didn't take that long. But No, I think, no, it didn't. But we did go through it all. And we did go through it. reason how much you changed right. to make it fit our own stuff. Yeah. To make it fit our own stuff 
And it was amazing too, because afterwards we're like, we wanted that in there and it didn't make it in there. Right. And I think if we had had the, um, uh, what's the the stamina to follow through? Because when we got to that point, we we're like, okay, now go do it. If right. we had the stamina to actually go back through it again, I think we probably would have caught some stuff that didn't happen. Yeah. Um, but I think, like again, it's probably that's it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, right? But, but it was it everybody was, cut was down really a lot of the planning commission was super excited about it. They okay. were very. We came out of the meeting. Actually, we all talked about it because we were like, we're, you know, merging these two documents, all this stuff, really doing it, you know, really changing kind of the not changing the dynamic, but really, yeah. you know, bringing it all kind of finishing what we had all started when this job was merged, you know, and finishing it all. So everyone was really excited. So it wasn't there wasn't a, a sentiment of like. Uh, okay, we got to okay, do this. Here, good. here we go. Like, that you know, would be a long haul. Yeah, so that that was that was good. Um, the other thing, and I'm waiting, um, and Billy Joe and I talked about too, is I'm waiting to hear back from Greta. So there's an 18 month window to get the work done for the MPG. Mm -hmm. But the village bylaws will run out at the end of 22. So how does that work for us applying? You know, if we don't have those bylaws in place. So say it does take longer than a year, you know, heaven forbid with everything going on, you know, for some reason it takes us longer than, you know, mm -hmm. I don't foresee it that way, but what happens with that? So I've got that question out there, like what is, what entails after, you know, 2023 and, you know, we're working on it, we're, we're building it, we're still whatever, you know what happens there so we've got that i don't think it's going to take that long i don't i don't think so either it, right. that's when she thrown out the because she kind of threw out the eight she's like, well you got 18 months to work on it and it's like so my thought yeah. process is make sure and do the village first because mm -hmm. worst worst case scenario you adopt it by itself right and then re-adopt it when you do the you could town, do it that way yeah. right because yeah. i was going to say if you go through and you adopt it then you can always make Right, you that's can always change it. Right, right, yeah. right, right. Um, yeah, so that that was one thing. Uh, the other thing that we had talked about too, um, and again, this is going to be depending on technologies, depending on who does the actual document itself. Um, people are now doing towns are now doing websites that allow for transparency, so you can kind of give a rolling update of what's going on. Mm -hmm. So, you know, to sh kind of showcase the change, because some the question, the question was brought up about public, you know, bringing the public in as far as, um, you know, interaction yeah. changes, you know, meetings, what do we do? You know, yeah. do you make it as a, you know, make it as a website, you know, eventually you're going to have to have a public meeting weighing on yeah. it. Um, but the website, again, there's a little bit of a learning curve there, but. Hmm. That's interesting. Cause at first, my first reaction was like, Ooh, too many cooks in the kitchen mm -hmm. sometimes gets ugly. Mm -hmm. Um, but in the same sense is it might give them something to talk about at those public hearings. Cause you don't get anybody. Yeah. Right. Well, and then you don't get uh, my th first thought. I, I kind of thought with you, I'm like, okay, so everybody's going to be, you know, why are you doing this? What are you doing this? Mm -hmm. But it might be better than you don't get blindsided later on at, you know, if, if people see, seeing the process, plan out and yeah. you're doing those things and then you can kind of address them well why did you guys do this why aren't you doing you know and then you can kind of if, if you can if you can head it off as it's going is what kind of my thought was and we always complain about how people don't participate right. why i guess would we want to limit their participation but my knee jerk was eh. right. but maybe it's well, and I always say that when people have always, in the short time I've done this already, where people are like, well, why is this and this? And like, well, the village bylaws are up here shortly. And to be super you know. clear, it's a draft, because you know there's going to some people who are just going to think it's gospel. Right, right. Right, yeah. Yeah, so it's just, it's a thought. It was, you know, again, and depending on where the bid comes in, who the company is, it might not even be, an, you know, it might not okay. even be an option, might not even be possible. Um, you know, the biggest thing that we kind of, the conditional use, the site plan review, a lot of that stuff, modernizing a lot of that stuff, um, you know, and just making the entire thing more user friendly. It's good, but it, there's some situations, again, in the short time, I, you know, you tell somebody, well, go to section, you know, three, three for the conditional review, and they go through it and they're like, 
wait, what? How am I supposed to, you know, you're trying yeah. to follow just, just making that, like I said, uh, just more streamlined. Mm -hmm. And bring Angie in to, yeah. you know, with Angie, you know, what were your concerns yeah. over those seven years? You know, what hit list would you have, you know, that you clean up? I think she was, she made one. I believe yeah. she made Yeah, I would say, yeah. She yeah, would, I remember yeah, she her would've. keeping pretty good documents oh, yeah, about yeah. the things that she would run up against. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then the last thing um, we talked about too, and is the website integration of documents. So submitting. Oh, yeah. Yes. It would be nice. Um, we've got them all up on the website now. We've got the the best versions of the documents on the website now yeah. that you can print and stuff. We've always had, but we have, you know, I kind of went through and made sure that the fees were right on them and, you know, kind of, yeah. but they're still not, the village ones are, the village ones are rough. I mean, they've been copied and recopied and recopied it's so many times. Ink. It's almost, yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's just got like a black to to it. It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, again, and that would be nice if you could have that document, those, all those documents, submit them, you know, submit them online. online. You know. Okay. Yep. That's a good idea. So the only thing, so yeah, you um, as the select board would be the applicant, of course, for the, you know, for the, the grant is how it would work. Um, the only thing Greta said that I need from the village, which I'm going next week, next Tuesday, um, just a letter of support from them. So from the, from the trustees. Okay. But you don't need a letter of support from these guys. Well, they're going to be they're going to be so the since they're the applicants. Since they're, they're going to be a, the applicant, you're basically so Northwest is going to do everything, get everything up, and then I got to talk with Greta, and I was going to talk with you about somehow last time you had submitted one, you had done it, but Greta thought maybe she was still on. She is, she is still on. Yeah, and I'm still on. Okay. BJ is the still the financial person who handles like the invoices and everything yeah, that comes yeah. in. Um, I, I'm the one that hits the submit button. I think it, I think Greta's still an administrator. Last okay. time she I was thought there. so. She thought so. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, along with a bunch of other people that don't even work at retail. <laughs> right. right. I'm like they don't even work here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. And, and again, since I'm, I'm new at this and that's, I've asked, I'm actually, I'm waiting. I've emailed her. Just kind of what, you know, once we get, um, you know, basically your blessing and then the village's blessing, what, you know, the next step is and how we go. Because the application's due November 1st. I was just going to ask what to do. Yep. Okay. Okay. But you kind of threw a wrench in the whole system, that bylaw modernization thing, because we've known, obviously, about yeah. the MPG for so long, really... but we didn't know what the yeah. language was for the, bi the modernization thing. So it was like, okay, what, you know, so... <laughs> But yeah, so like I said, I'll know Tuesday in regards to the village. And I know the village won't. Last time I went to talk about the fee schedule and stuff, they were kind of like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be that one time, Jesse, when you won't see it coming. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. What else? Was there something about listers now? Yeah, but for that, um, you yeah. should go into it. Oh. Yeah. How is everything else going with the zoning? Very good. Very good. Thank you. Yeah, very good. Um, we, uh, I think we're at roughly 40 permits we've done so far for the year, I think is what we got. Um, not a lot of hearings right now. Stuff now with materials coming back down, more permits are coming, coming in. Uh, some hearings coming up. We got some stuff. I mean, we've got, uh, you know, working with some other things with the, uh, you know, the curly block coming up and that coming down and, you know, it's been, uh, it's been very good. It's been, good. Yeah. Yeah. Good. enjoy it. It's time, good. time wise. How is it? Fine. Okay. Yep. Fine. Is uh, there anything you need from us? Like, no, I mean, right now, I mean, this, this is going to be a huge part of going through this and really consolidating. Not that it was hard or anything before, yeah. but, um, just keeping it, just keeping that together for, you know, for, for the sake of this one, this one. And one of those things, you know, you'll, you'll be looking on you know, your computer and you're going down through and you're looking through the bylaws and you're like, oh, I'm in the town one, not the village. Yeah, you know? I know exactly. So those little things and just that kind of stuff. But no, no, I mean, this is a great pace. This is, 
it's, it's doable, it's manageable. Again, I don't know. I don't know if this is a normal year, a low year. A, you know, I'm guessing it's probably on the lower side because of the material. You know, I'm guessing. Mm-hmm. You know, there's just not a lot of construction. Oh, because the materials. Because I was everything say normally is, either. Huh? Right. Like, everything is so expensive. You know, yeah. it was so expensive. It's a lot of it's coming down now. You know, you could literally see in permits where, you know, materials were coming down, you know, because there was a while there. There was a few weeks where there was just no Nothing. permits yet. That's so funny. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but I think, yeah, we're, I just had, I think we're, uh, the other day, uh, the town one is 21, 21 right now. And I think it's 17 or 18 on the village. For the year, okay. so we're yeah, good, yeah, yeah. Nothing mm-hmm. as far as troubles or anything like that. Everything has been, you know, the biggest the, the 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 nice thing is having those hours that set hours there, so people can yeah, get into the mall and you're there and you have those kind of things. So okay. Okay. Yeah. all right, good, great, super. Nice. Yeah. What's next? All right, so if you're off the hot seat and uh, is Joey coming it's, in? It's still him. Oh, it's still him. Okay. So we're gonna do the list or anything? That's what you guys had said bring him in to see if he wants to do that. Yeah. We're doing that now. That's yeah, executive so, session. Uh, I think say yeah. Oh, because you ha- we have yeah. it. Oh, okay. I'll move yeah. to go into executive session for Oh, personnel. and on here it's after Joey. That's what that's we're That's a different one. That's a, oh that's why I asked about the two. I asked if oh, there was two. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, thought, I thought I had written in two different places. No, like, no, I'm sorry, I asked about the two. I got okay. you, okay. I'll, so, I'll, yeah. I'll move to go into executive session for personnel issues. I'll second it. So it's been moved and seconded that we go into executive se- session for personnel issues. Um, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, ayes have it. Next right. on the agenda, okay. got you. we have our town administrator, Joey Clark. Not town of the town. Oh, no. He's town of the town. You just got a promotion. You got a promotion. Well, yeah. Whether you want it or not, it sounds like a salary job. It sounds like a salary job. It is. It sounds like a salary job. So, road for me? Yeah. Okay. What you got? I got some feedback on the loaders. You know, last meeting, I wanted to look into an outright sale versus a trade and and I told the called the case dealer and told him that we decided to go with John Deere. And he wasn't surprised but and uh, so then I asked John Deere about the outright sale and they said to take thirty five hundred dollars off the well I guess you'd call it the list price here. Oh. The one sixty two five twenty four take thirty five hundred dollars off of that if we did an outright sale. Thirty five hundred or a thousand? Thirty five hundred. If we sold the so loader, if we sell it out right, they'll take Oh okay. Yeah, if we sell their okay. loader, so, so then they're still gonna, gonna give us thirty two thousand for our loader. But if we sell it out right, we can I don't know. Or we can save some paper. Well we can get more than that and close to thirty five hundred. Thirty five hundred basically he said yeah, because I won't have to truck it, I won't have to prep it, oh, I won't have yeah, to try to sell it. Right. And he was even gonna try to he said, I got some people that are looking for used loaders, so he's going to send them our way, but I haven't got any calls yet. So. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So I don't know. So is your asking price going to be what he was offering in the trade, or do you go more? That's true. I would say we go a little more. Yeah. Because right. those nearly, they're going to make money, right. too. You know, they're setting That's the price, right. so they're going to probably That's sell exactly it for right. 50, 45, 50. Or right. well, do you want that number yeah. tonight so you have a... Well, I don't know how if we're gonna do it or how we're gonna do it. If we did do it, uh, what we done with the trucks? They put them out to bid, but and then you have the right to refusal of any. Yeah, that it. makes sense. I don't know if that's what we want to do, or like I said, I haven't got any calls from these guys. He's trying to send their way, so I don't know if they're sitting back waiting or if they're. Can we do a minimum interest. bid? If we put it out, can we do a minimum? Yeah, I mean, we want the minimum of at least whatever they're going to give us. Refuse any and all bids, too. Oh, refuse any and all. Okay. All right. Yeah. And the thing is, do you really want to put it out to bid, or you just, we say in a month's time? If we don't get any feedback, then we know we've got to go local. Well, we can't really sell it right now, anyway, because I think it's not going to be for right. a few months. All right. Yeah, it would be, uh, what did I say, six to. 60 to 90 days, I guess, to get one if you'd order it. 
but I think we will want it understood too if if we were to sell it or put it out to bid to sell that we we need to keep it until right no one gets here and then, mm -hmm. then it can go even if they agree on the price today or right. it could be a, so yeah I don't know that's what they that was the deal take thirty five hundred off the one sixty two. Like so one say one fifty nine basically, yeah. and then anything over. So you're gonna save thirty five hundred. Anything over the thirty two you could get. Mm -hmm. Oh, you shouldn't be saying that number on the camera. Eighty thousand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. How long before you have to let? I think this price is good to the end of October. I think that's what Larry said the last week. I thought Somewhere. so. But... I know one. You yeah, expiration date October 31st. And I called him the other day. I got to thinking and wondering, or, you know, say we decide to do this or not, all of a sudden when we order it, gonna say, oh, geez, you know, yeah, we just ordered it, but there's a price increase we didn't know about. And he said, no. The, this price is that going to be the, the end of the month, and this is the price. And it said once you order, it's locked in. So even if there's a price increase later on, two months down the road, or a month before you get it, or whatever, you it. You, you, yeah. this is what you're going to pay. Is it possible to order it now, not knowing the trade? <laughs> if it's not coming for 60 to 90 days, anyways? Yeah, I mean, you could order it. Yeah, yeah. You could, then you can do whatever. The money part at the end will be one of the, of the sale, I would right. assume. Uh, yeah, because you want to put ours up for sale that quickly if somebody, you know, well, you never know, you could sell it next week or it could be three months, right. you know, if you want to do it closer to the time that we're going to be right. getting it. Right. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't have to, right, you wouldn't have to do it. You wouldn't have to say to the guy, well, we don't know, we've got 90 days and so somebody might be looking for a loader tomorrow or they might be looking for one 30 days from right there and have to be in understood that right if you did do it that way and like right. right off is just right. in the bid and the and the ad whatever you know going to take bids but right. wouldn't be able to take possession right. until the first of the year or right or, or first of february or so that way the person would know when they put their bid in that they weren't going to get this thing tomorrow mm -hmm. or So either way, we so we give so we give you approval on that, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, we get the money; it's in the mm -hmm. equipment did, fund. Yeah, did we vote on it last time to give you approval to go with that, or do we need to? No, I don't think you did. Just that you wanted me to check on an outright sale. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then, well, I talked. Like I said, I talked to the case dealer, the salesman, and he said, "Yeah." He said, "Well, if you to." You know, if we we're asking him that, he said, "What the price is is the price." He said, "I don't, I don't have it jacked up." And these guys didn't either. They, you know, it starts out less price, like two hundred thousand, and then you get municipal discount. Right. They didn't, they didn't fool with that. They, they just started to sell it. Thirty-five hundred you're saving is the you don't have to deal with it. You don't have to go get it, right. send a truck up to get so it, it, get it already, bring it well. down, prep it, right. and then truck it to whoever else probably right. do one. Yeah. I don't know. So that's supposed to be what we're. So we need a motion. If you're going to give him permission. Mm -hmm. Or give him permission. I move to give Joey permission to proceed with the uh, purchase of the loader from John Deere. Second. All right. So it's been moved and seconded that uh, we give Joey permission to proceed with the uh, transaction of our. New piece of equipment. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Okay. It's in your hands. Oh, Big spender. Easy, so. Yeah. I never spent money so I easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's been doing a heck I love of a it. Job. I, know. <laughs> no, I, think, I think it's a good choice. Yeah. Oh, definitely. You got to keep the equipment fresh. You got you to keep it fresh. Keep it circulation. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anything else? Uh, no, I don't so, so are we putting an old one out for bids and see what happens? And yeah, I guess you just have to decide. Or can you, maybe can you get an exact date on that? I mean, I realize you probably can't get a day, especially in the middle of the mm -hmm. winter. 
but if you could get something within a week of knowing, then probably when he puts it in out to order, like if he call or sends mm -hmm. the order in, and then they probably will, I think in a few days, usually like with the trucks, after a week or so, they'll send them a build date, the date that they're actually going to yeah. build the thing, right. and then he knows how long it's going to take to get it in their hands. You know, it might be another two weeks after it gets built before it gets up to their place. If we're gonna ask somebody to wait, they should at least have some sort of an idea. Well, maybe we could we could put that out in in December. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because, because the thing is, is that I mean, I think we want to know before we aren't gonna get any bids or anything serious. We want to trade it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, yeah, that might be the thing too. I don't know. That's just my yeah. Opinion. Well. It, I guess I was gonna say it might depend on the time of year. A construction guy might need it, but he's not gonna get it till the first of February anyway. Right. Right. You know. But if they're but if they know it now and willing to wait, get through this season and, and purchase it, mm -hmm. you're right. Yeah, it might be better off to run it right now. I don't know. Just because the toughest yeah. part is that if that piece of equipment doesn't come in on that date, yeah, and it's delayed three weeks. Well, that's what I'm saying. Well, could you put we something in the bid that says like um, purchase effective on like? Yeah. April first or something like that. You could yeah, cover the rest of that money and right. Put a bid on this piece of equipment. Purchase would be effective April first. I don't know how it would affect somebody bidding on it, but if it was just worded that, you know, this you, you can't purchase, you can't have this piece of equipment until our new loader's in. Right. Leave it at that. That could. Be, oh yeah, right. Like I say, it could be construction exactly. guys going. You know what? I got a loader. I can limp through the rest of this year if I can get hold of that loader right. in the spring. I'm interested. So you're probably right. Probably run it now and get people time to think about it. And if it doesn't go, run it a month before, and it might that might change something too. You know. I mean, you guess you you run it for a month and you get you don't get any serious bites or whatever. Right. Maybe, maybe you want to trade it. Right. Or, but we don't have to make that decision, and probably until the day we decide when the new yeah. one's here. Really, right? Yeah. Well, I don't know about what the salesman is saying on that. But. Well, yeah, maybe you'd have to, if if we don't trade it, then yeah, it's 3500 off. But if yeah. it, when the thing comes, it's like, yeah, we haven't had any bites. Yeah. I guess we are going to trade it. Well, you're probably going to bump back up to $3,500. He's got it. Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah, totally. yeah, definitely. The deal is going right. to go back yeah. to the deal. Yeah. yeah. We're going to lose that 3500 and plus whatever else we can get. But mm -hmm. it's still going to be, the, the lower is going to be gone and the new one's going to be here. And, Life goes on. Mm -hmm. With so with <coughs> United or whoever that John Deere's through Joey, this if we were to trade it and the transmission goes and the old one between now and when a new one comes in. That's, that's on us. That's yeah. still on that's us. It's gonna be on us no matter what. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Either way. I believe it would be Oh yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. Get your shovels. <laughs> Get your shovels. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah. I know what you're saying. It's yeah. Good. I mean, in the 90 days or the 60 right. days, whatever. Right. Turn yeah. Oh, right. definitely. I mean, something could go wrong with it. Yeah. You, you, mm -hmm. It shouldn't. Because this won't, price that they're giving us is as as as, is, as it right. was right. He, with the day he looked at it. Right. right. Yeah, it's going to have more hours on it. They're not going to knock yeah. some off for that. Right. If it's a major. I mean, if it was 2000 it's like, right. yeah, now it's not worth. Thirty-two thousand, right. right? Ten thousand, or whatever, because the transmission's gone. Right. Yeah, I would think that would be on us. All right. No, it's just trying to think it out through it. No, I yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay. But that's what we've done with the trucks the last. I don't know how many we've done. We put them out to bid, throw for sale sign on them out in the lawn, and people grab them. as well. Yeah. Farmers are using them, yeah. you know, because owner stock. That's probably right. that would be his nicest loader. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a new one, though. He's got a, yeah, he's got a fairly new Oh, he does. I still had to pick on him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's good for it. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got to pick on his fleet, or else he doesn't think you like him. Right. <laughs> yeah. Especially his plowing fleet. Huh? Yeah, oh, my God. Don't even go there. <laughs> I don't know what's worse, the help or the trucks. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't say yeah. that. No, he's got good guys. Mm. <laughs> and then we got a driveway permit? Yeah. That's, Situation? Yeah. Uh, Craig Pockets. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I found my notes on what the state's guidelines are. So, so it's kind of two parts to the 
subject here, I guess. But so for a single home driveway, mm -hmm. it's, it's just like our minimum standards, 12 foot minimum with a 20 foot radius. For two home, they bump up to 18 feet wide with a 20 foot radius. Mm -hmm. And once it becomes three homes, they go up to what they call commercial standards, and then it has to be 24 feet wide mm -hmm. with a 30 foot radius. Okay. So that's the state's guidelines. So I think maybe that's what we want in our yeah. zoning yeah. bylaws guidelines for driveways. Yeah. Did you send? We should. Do you want to write that down? I do. Or... You can picture of it. Oh yeah. Picture of it. Too touchy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at you. Yeah. And then another part of that too is like on this application, there could be something added here, maybe some. What, what they're going for. This is like a res residential driveway standards. That's what this is for. But maybe instead of calling it residential driveway application, maybe it should be have uh, three boxes yep. and a check one. You're yep. either a single home or I see. two yeah. homes or, or, or you're more. going to commercial. One more streamlined for yeah, the same so application, yeah. just maybe, right? Different. But that might change some other things on it too. Going well, like could, like Jesse could yeah. change some things that exactly. would make this go more with this and this go more with that. Right. This is the same thing we've used right from the beginning, but it's now, yeah, they got your residential driveway, which is like a 12 foot minimum. But a lot of times now we're getting into these two family driveways. Can I take driveways a picture of that too, Joey? So that when I send it to him, I can explain what I'm talking about. Thanks. Now, did. The Pockets driveway, this yeah. one on um, Pearly Road or whatever, right? Yeah. We were so about. that's the, so this is the kind of the zoning part of it. These are the states and maybe that's what we want to have. So going with Craig Pockets, the existing driveway he's got, I stop and measure from the top of the shoulder. Top of the shoulder is about 16 feet wide. Well, so he's almost there. He's almost there. And I told him, I said, I think you could tuck out another foot each way there and not Right. interfere with the wetlands but i don't know how wetlands people in the state people would see that maybe that's not the way they would see it so he was wondering if he could just upgrade that if he was just going to do a two instead mm -hmm. of the three mm -hmm. if he could just upgrade it i told him if you cut the trees on both sides and put some gravel reestablish what you got there for with gravel he was wondering if he'd kind of like be grandfathered because these rules aren't really in effect, you know. Yeah, that's really, true. Yeah. That is true. So, you know, how do you feel right. about it? But right. yeah, then, right. then he'd go in the existing driveway and the house is over here. He's going to branch off to the right to go over to this other lot. If he ever decides to do the third one and he gets up into the commercial where mm -hmm. he's going to be 24 feet wide, well, then he's going to run into an issue. Then he's going to run into an issue. But then he knows it going in. Right. He knows it going in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And he said, well, well I he think he can't come back on us. And, you know, like he said, he's grandfather. And we say, okay, go ahead and do it. And he comes back and says something later, you know. Well, he would be grandfathered because, the, like you said, these aren't in effect yet. Not really. It's not. Yeah. We've talked about it, but I don't. It's never right. been actually. But it's not written down. So. But then the thing is, is then you fall under the case of the wetlands, right? Well, what so that he said that was seemed to be more uh, on roads. I didn't really yeah. see anything. It said anything about driveways. It just says roads. It's kind of. I kind of took it. Yeah, but isn't a driveway same. a road? Yeah. I got traveled. For, I thought, yeah, that's kind of how I took it, but maybe it's different. Well, if he does put three houses there, then it is a road. Mm -hmm. That's a road, even if you put two houses on there. It's a no. private road at that point, yeah. Yeah. With, well, with three. With right? the state well, nine one one, how yeah, they look at a road, road is yeah. anything three or more. If it has its own name, it's a road. If it doesn't, it's a driveway. Well, so that was but, my next question. So the signage comes in when three. three. Once there's three, then they gotta have a sign, a yeah. name. Yeah. Then it becomes. I told them I'd find that out. I said I'm not sure if it's two or three. But, <coughs> but then would any of that be based on um, footage? No, it's based on the number of houses. Well, no, no. Well, I'm Up saying it, it's, it's living quarter places. No. You know, you could have. 500 foot driveway or doesn't matter 
I don't like the other places, so it's three. So mm -hmm. once it's three, then it's considered a private road. So it's got to have a name. And, right. Mm -hmm. And so how I read it was you shouldn't like expand any roadway in a class two. Isn't that how, is that how you read it? Yeah, there's some exemptions there. There was some exemptions, but it, and it was about kind of upgrading. So that's yeah. why I feel yeah. like you can upgrade, right. but you couldn't like expand or like re redevelop. Upgrade existing. Upgrade, roads. right. You know, yeah. feel. Um, that's why I think he, if, if that goes into, he knows if it's gonna access three, he's gonna be in a pinch because Wetlands probably won't let him meet those specs. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So then he's back to getting another driveway. So then third he's, low. Yeah. Right. Which is what he's trying to do in the first place. So where right? the second driveway is going, we is there wetlands on either right. side no. of that? If he were to build the second driveway, is there wetlands on either side of that? Could he just close one driveway and build another one? So he's not in the wetlands? Probably could. Yeah. So then, if he needed to put a third house, yeah, then he just did. I mean, close that would it, even be an option it. now. Build a different driveway yeah, for those three right? places. That would be an option now, I guess, too, if he wanted or to. However, but he if he wanted, wanted it, and after this is in, you do away with this one. I guess it right. depends yeah. on how much of a exactly. he wants to be. Right. Mm -hmm. That's I didn't even think of that. Then if he okay. then he can make it eighteen feet wide if he chooses for two, and then when down the road he does three, he can. If he stays far enough away from the wetlands, mm -hmm. you should be able to do the 24. Mm -hmm. So should I throw that to add in? Yeah, say, yeah. Let's say look, this is common. Do either or. Either if you or. think down the road you're going to do three, you might want to build Just, your new one. And, and then, then you agree to give this one up and mm -hmm. take it out. Yeah. Either way, he's going to agree to one driveway. But One taking it out, is he going to be affecting the wetlands then? That or he just stop using it, I guess. But That probably wouldn't happen. No. Nah. Unless it took the culvert out. Take the culvert out and plant some grass. And... Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, if it took I mean, the culvert yeah, out. Yeah, that's totally allowed. Yeah. And that, top that fill was totally the gravel, yeah. and then so your wetlands are now right. not wetlands anyways, but they're now grass areas. Yeah. Yeah. It was feels... more about development versus not development. Or if he feels that he's definitely never going to do three now, he's just going to do two. Are we going to allow him to be grandfather and just upgrade his existing? I think go so. With that? Either way, he's done the one driveway, right? He would be. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say yeah. do that. Yeah. Okay. I agree. Mm -hmm. Worry about the third one when it comes. By then, the wetlands won't matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if we're global warming continues, that's where we're at. It. Everybody's wells are drying up. Catch yeah. yeah. If he ditches it, just right, it'll be fine. <laughs> so they make drainage stuff. That's right. <laughs> All right. Okay. Anything else? That's all I got. Cool. Get those things to you first thing in the morning. I saw your email. Oh, the, yeah, yeah. the check. I'll do the check. Yep. It's not a problem. I just put it. So we should have this one? Oh. Um, what we also need to do first is um, acknowledge uh, Sean Kyle's letter of resignation and accept that. Um, we wish him well. He's resigning. He's yep. resigning. Um, he's taking a different position. So, yeah. We need a motion. Yep. So I'll okay. move to accept the resignation letter. Second. So it's been moved and seconded to accept the resignation letter of uh, Sean Kyle. Our economics development. development resource person. Director. Director. Economics. Director. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? The ayes have it. Passed. And our cleaning person. So now our cleaning person. We've had an individual that expressed some interest. Um, you want to give him a try? Well, first. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he... Our last cleaning person that worked at my office, Pauline Baker, you know, we all love Pauline. <laughs> um, she was on payroll, which so then she fell under workman's comp in case she ever got hurt or cleaning. Yeah. Was, never happened. But, yeah. Um, so he would, he's he's asking if you do decide to give him a try, that's how he wants to. He doesn't want to be an independent contractor. He wants to be an employee, which he already is. He's a fireman. Oh. 
but this would be on separate. He works for the town of Swanton. Okay. He's our age and he's done well, so he's retiring in December. <laughs> so, um, and this is what he wants to do on the side, but he'll, yeah. he would start now and then like on weekends or at night. After. And Pauline Baker's not doing it anymore? No, she doesn't, no, we do our own office. Oh, okay. So it wouldn't be for my office, it would be for here. And when the time comes, the armory. Yeah. I would, they yes. haven't had anybody here for a while. And I well, would we were say talking that. about it anyway. So. Yeah, I would say for sure. So it'll save us some He's looking to get 17 an hour. Okay. And how many hours? Not really. Oh my. <laughs> I don't think really know right now. Like, I think right now it'd be like, see what you can do with X number of hours here per week. Yeah. Because the living quarters. I feel, I, I know, I, I wonder if we should. I wonder, I think maybe one it. like once a month kind of do that, but then on the weekly, it'd be like bathrooms in here in the hallway and, you know, both meeting right. rooms and stuff. Um, but maybe in the living quarters, like once in a while, thinking, like, I think they should be doing both. 10 hours a week? They should be doing that. Yeah, they should be really. Was yeah. Pauline, Pauline was doing it here? No, it no, was no. a she different was, person. Uh, when the other person was here, do you know what they were using for, had for time? Um, I think it was usually like four or five hours. A week. A week. Yeah. I mean, because it's big room tapes. Yeah. 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 That's what I, I feel oh, like if we can kind of like nail it down because... You know, mm -hmm. it yeah. could you could spend yeah. a lot of time. Oh yeah, uh, so. I think here is less than what the armory will be because it's such a bigger space. Yeah, mm -hmm. but for now, I mean, we're not yeah clean and ready, but they definitely need, and they take care of the bays themselves, right? Yeah, you guys yep. sweep out the bays. Yeah, bays I mean, yeah. So, so it's just this area. The meeting this rooms area. in the hallway and, and the bathrooms and put your foot down with the other room. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we'll see what I so, yeah. Makes sense. Yep. Okay. I think you'll do a good job, too. Good. All right. All right. So, how so, many hours did you need? Let's see. I'm let's go to four to ten. five. Ten? Well, I mean, well maybe not ten five. for here, five, yeah. And then yeah, we'll say just, another five down there with yeah. the yeah, well, right. when that it's starts, here. but we'll see. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's we'll say to start out and then say, how are you doing with the time? Yeah. yeah right. Are you finding you're not happy? Right. Right. Yes. Too much. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. He's pretty honest. So yeah. He's not All right. Okay. Anything else? The only other thing is, is um, apparently they've given us the opportunity to pick out either um, the ninth or the twenty third for the village joint meeting. Oh, what you guys in preference? I thought we had down the twenty third in you know. The night for no, the what? We said, we said November, but let them choose. Sure. And yeah, so then they said, well, it doesn't matter to us. Oh, okay. Whichever. I cannot the night. 23rd, that's over by Thanksgiving, so to speak. You can do the night, I just won't be there. Totally fine. Have at it. <laughs> Have at it. Um, and the 23rd, I can. What day is that? It's a Tuesday? It's They're Tuesdays. Tuesday. Yeah. They start at six thirty. So, is yeah. there anything pushing that we need to go to the ninth, or can we wait till the twenty third? Let's go to the twenty third then. That way, you've waited just long, right? Yep. What time do they start, Billy Joe? Six thirty. At the it's going to be here actually. I'm sorry, okay. not at the village office. They said because of the amount of people that have to. Anything else we know of? So I'll move to, oh, I'll move to return. Sure. Been moved and seconded that uh, we adjourn. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed? Have a good night.